You couldn't show any weakness. You had to become a man very quickly. I was born and raised on the east side of Buffalo, New York. I'm one of eight children. I was raised in a single parent home. My mother raised me and my siblings by herself. My grandfather, he was never in my mother's life. And my grandmother, she battled with drug abuse. So she died at a very young age. My mother was forced to become a parent and an adult at a very young age. And uh, she, she juggled with that. And it was very difficult for her at first. My father was never really in my life. So my mom really had to manage and uh, raise eight children by herself. Growing up was very dysfunctional for me and my siblings. Uh, we were both physically and verbally abused. We would go to school and I would, I would have bruises on my arms and teachers would notice that. And uh, before you know it, Child Protective Services was involved. I think I was about eight or nine when I first entered the system. Uh, that's foster care. And my siblings and I, we were all divided into different foster homes. I ended up being bounced around from different foster homes. I went in very optimistic and energetic and uh, happy. And then I became very introverted because I was constantly uh, being placed in a temporary position. Throughout my entire experience, I was in over 10 different foster homes. And it was hard for me to open up to people that I was only spending a short amount of time with. Um, I remember being 14 years old and my social worker, she came and got me from high school. And she told me she was taking me to some place for the weekend and that place was a detention center. I ended up spending three years of my life there. One misconception about people who are in foster care or are in detention centers is that it's the child's fault. Uh, everyone would ask me in the detention home, why was I there or what did I do or things that I need to work on, but it was really, you know, it should have been asking what our parents did or uh, how we felt. Uh, we were just treated as uh, you know, numbers. And I believe that I was there so long because I didn't have anywhere else to go. I couldn't go back to live with my mom and I had nobody else to take me in. So I really just had to spend my teenage years there. The detention center, it was very bad. As soon as you come in there, you know, I got into fights, I got jumped, I had to hold my own. I fought, I cried and I held my pride. You couldn't show any weakness. You had to become a man very quickly. And I had to learn that at 14 years old. Uh, when I was 17 years old, I was discharged from this place and I immediately enrolled in public school at Lafayette High School where I was senior class vice president. Uh, I played sports like track and field and cross country as well as basketball and I was the first in my family to graduate high school. I then went on to attend Buffalo State University and I received a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. I'm the first in my family to graduate and go to college. I am a living proof and living testament that just because you were in foster care does not mean you can't be somebody. I believe that you can be anything and anyone you want to be and you can achieve any amount of greatness as long as you can conceive it in your mind. I am doing all these things that I would have never imagined in a million years that I would be able to do. And uh, ultimately, my relationship with my mom has gotten way better over the years. We both have grown as people, and I am so proud of the woman she's become. Life is all about perspective. I blame my mother as a child uh, for being a bad parent, but I really understood that she didn't know how to be a parent at first. She just did what she could. All of my friends and my peers, uh, they can look at me and they've never realized or known what I've been through until now. I prevailed through it all, and everything, it just really made me the man I am today.